As calls for a ceasefire continue, a group of doctors, including some from North Texas, are returning to the United States from Gaza. They say the hospitals there are being pushed to the limit. Fox 4's Stephen Dial spoke to a Carrollton doctor who is back home. Stephen. Steve, that doctor is an ER doctor, and he says he doesn't have all the answers about how to end this conflict, but he says what he saw is a true humanitarian crisis and is hoping a ceasefire is in the near future. The beds were like everywhere in the corridor and uh, on the patients were maybe on the floors, on the mattresses, uh, under the stairs. Uh, ER was like all the time full. We will just put them on the floor and then sit there and start, you know, resuscitating. On most days, you can find Dr. Bilal Paracha at Castle Hills ER in Carrollton. But for the last two weeks, he and a team of eight other volunteer doctors were in Gaza to help a hospital there. For us, it was big flow. Like, uh, and at a time in ER, there, like one day, 1,000 plus patients were coming in. When's the last time you've seen that many patients in an ER room? Never before. Never before. The war between Israel and Hamas has gone on for months. Paracha's wife encouraged him to go and help, and he said if an opportunity presented itself, he would. The hospital where he worked is set up for about 200 beds, but he says upwards of 700 people stay there every night. There were like explosions going around uh, all the time. A whole night you will be hearing the explosions gunshots, machine gun fires. But interestingly, uh, there was no fear. Paracha described high and lows from the trip. The lows are what you expect to hear, describing some of the injuries. Brain matter, a medical term, for him now has a new meaning. That would be the, a way of, you know, communication between uh, obviously the doctors and the nurses that uh, unfortunately, the next word will be hopeless. This is a hopeless case. He described other injuries, saying he saw patients as young as infants and elderly people. People tell tell us uh, very plainly and you know in a pretty normal way that they are ready to die every night. Every night when they go to sleep, they are they go with the intention that this will be our last night. But there was part of his trip that gave him motivation, working with medical students and seeing their energy to learn. They were so excited and so uh, motivated to know that somebody has come from U.S. Do you think you made a difference? Literally, I was able to save lives <laughs> and uh, of many kids, young and uh, uh, men, women. Paracha told me because there were so many patients coming in and out, they weren't able to do full body CT scans. The reasoning, the machine, the only machine, would break if they did. He says the American doctors left what they call butterfly ultrasounds. Basically, it's a device that you can hook up to your cell phone and use to scan bodies like um, a CT scan. He said it's not totally uh, helpful as far as doing the whole body, but it will make a big difference. Got to do what you can do in those situations, and what works a little bit is better than nothing. All right, Stephen Dow, thank you very much.